pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Uh, silence. I'm not gonna throw John under the bus. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your... other job could become. Selina? Uh, good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. Uh, have been a lot yep, still crazy. You're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group Children of Arnhem, uh... whose members seem to be taking some time off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. You know, not many people say that that often. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You 
knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Like hell you are. The only way you're searching this car is with two broken arms afterwards. Nice. Oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! <sighs> of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Yes! Like, come on, use your brain! Not real smart. I don't understand the point of, like, let's... Fucking <laughs> antagonize the people. Shut up, Alfred. I can handle this. Like, someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yes, because you deserved it. The they should lock you up. Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. Like, I don't understand the idea of antagonizing someone who can actively kill you. Like, you're asking for this. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. The way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice. I could kill them. You could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed. What do you say? You're the reason I'm in this situation. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Hey! <sighs> Sir? No. Just get us home, Al. Fast. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. I don't have time for rest. You'll be no good to anyone if you can barely keep your feet under you. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. Alright, I need to take this moment to, like, rant and just talk about a few things. This is a huge ass pet peeve of mine that you see in popular media a lot, where there will be someone who's like, 
a fucking psychotic killer or something, and then some dumbass would be like, oh, fuck you, me, me, me. Now, there's this guy in real life who's a wrestler who goes by the name of New Jack. New Jack is a literal psychopath. But you know what you don't do? You don't get in fucking New Jack's face and talk shit. You know why? Because he will stab you. <laughs> like, use your brain. Don't piss off someone who is actively able to hurt you. That's just common sense. You don't need to be angry. You should be afraid. That's why you will live. Fear will keep you alive. Oh, it just makes me so mad because it doesn't make any sense. Don't piss off the wrong person. That's how people die. Okay, that rant's done. Other thing I wanted to say while it was, you know, I should have said it when I was exploring Arkham, but I didn't. It's really funny, but, like, John Doe reminds me, like, of Reed. And it's mostly in the way his smile and facial expressions are, and I find it... I like the way they portray him. And I know that they're using the idea that you know who John Doe is. You know that. So they're trying to use that against you as a reason to distrust him. But in a realistic situation, let's pretend that Joker doesn't exist, I would trust someone like this or at least give him the benefit of the doubt. I wouldn't throw things in his face because he's not Joker yet. I wouldn't act out or be rude. So that's the reason for those actions. They're just using your general knowledge of Batman to define things. I'm not going to look at the Codex or Feed anymore. I think if you want to do that, you can do that on your own. But I've shown you that these things do update. Because I do want to give you the ability to purchase and play the game yourself. Here's my DNA before the incident. Okay, moving on to video game. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. It was just really weird controls. So it took me a second to try and figure out what it was I was doing. That should do it. needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Um... Push? How do I... <laughs> Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce, there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A 
tip. Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Give it a chance. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Friend. Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Yeah.